everybody how's it going my name is Edgar Calva welcome back to my channel so I wanted to show you guys um, some of the plants that I bought off of eBay I decided to buy a couple of monsteras um, maybe to flip them down the road or just to even let them grow and eat some cuttings off of it or just maybe to sell the whole plant um, in general I wanted to show you guys doing an unboxing video of all four monsteras and um you know you guys will be seeing in future videos the progress and you know how they're doing and if i do decide to sell them obviously it will be uh, uh advertised in my social media or you can just find them on my ebay so let's get started um all of these monsters were different prices i'm not going to talk about the prices in this video because it, it was different ranges um, it was like 100 from 170 to like 290 i believe almost 300 dollars. all right you guys so it's just the box, right? Um, I actually bought it from the, same sell from the same seller that I buy all my plants from just because um, he just does such a great job with shipping. Um, they are ne they never get damaged and he's actually pretty responsible about any questions that you have. So let's look at plant number one. And don't worry guys, I'm being really careful not to damage the plant. I'm not going in that deep with the knife. All right. So here we go. Same thing, same packaging, all the information he adds, uh, plant food, and uh, the number of the plant, which this uh, says 12. So like I said, this plant is always packaged So, so good that the plants never get any type of uh, damage whatsoever. All right, so this is plant number one. And actually the seller did mention that he has different uh, mother plants and um, they all have different variations. And he did also mention that um, it's really hard to, to keep track of which plant is which. So he's not able to actually uh, send us pictures of, uh, of the mother plant. As I started collecting plants, and I always go on eBay to check on, the, uh, on what type of plants they have, it it's always the same seller uh, selling this monster. So I'm pretty sure he has hundreds. Wow, overall, I'm really happy with this one. This one is really nice. The variegation on it is just stunning. I actually don't think I have one this variegated. All right, so as you guys can see the variegation on this one, it's just gorgeous. No, I'm pretty sure you guys can't see these, but let me see. There's some nut on the side coming out. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, probably not. But I'll send uh, closer pictures so you guys can see it. Okay, on this one, I'm not gonna lie. You guys can see the uh, the root system. It's okay, it has a lot of roots, but it's not like the ones that have we have gotten before. But it's definitely a beautiful variegation and I'm really happy with that. So let's move on, let's go to the next one. Plant number two. But just because with the variegation, they tend to um, bruise quicker than others. So I have ordered some Monsteras online and um, I have got, got it them wrapped in plastic, wrapped in paper. And, um, and I guess maybe with this material, they're able to breathe. So maybe the, the plant, doesn't show as much bruising, but um, 
but yeah, it's. I think this is a really good way to do it. I'm actually, if I do sell them, I'm I'm gonna copy the same uh, the same way he ships these plants. Okay, now with this one, um, I can tell that the variegation it has a lot of variegation, but the leaves are a lot larger. See, can you guys see these? Right. So let's compare this one to this one. Look at the size of the leaf of the leaves. I mean, I think this one's like longer, but I really like the variegation on this one. Look at that. Now let's look at the root system. Um, again, I'm not too happy with the with the root system, you know. But I mean, it's definitely a stable plant. It's it's getting there. And as you guys can see, there's a new growth right there on the side. Um, I'm giving it a couple a couple weeks, and we'll definitely have a new a new leaf. Look at the stem. The stem is always going to tell you how much wide variegate a variegation is going to have. Because basically, when it splits, that's that's what turns into the leaf. So that's the variegation on it. So far with these two plants, I'm really happy with them just because uh, the ones that tend to have a lot of white, um, they go for a lot of money. Like I mean, I seen cuttings of one leaf go to like 300 to $400. Um, I'm pretty sure that um, at the moment, since uh, we're getting close to Christmas, um, you know, everybody's trying to save their money. So these plants are going pretty cheap online. So um, I decided I wanted to stack up, you know, and um, make some of these my mother plants. And if not, then just resell them. Or, um, or like I said before in the other video, right? I mean, this has three different leaves. I can make different cuttings off of this one and just resell them and make a lot more money than what this cost me. Um, so I'm still debating on what I want to do because I do have a lot of monsteras. I know I keep on promising you guys that I'm gonna do a tour video about my house. Um, I have too many plants, that's that's the problem. And I do have a lot of monsteras. Literally for a hobby, I just go on eBay or I just go like on different other um, uh, selling websites like OfferUp or even Facebook and just research a uh, very game on stairs. And if I find one that I like and it's a good price, I buy it. I'm trying to make a really long video, so let's get to it. I honestly think that the two, the first, the first two that I that I uh, that I opened, I think those were the uh, the pricier ones. But definitely this seller. Um, I like the way he does things because he sends a uh, I think it's two day priority mail. And he only charges ten dollars, so it doesn't matter how much he sells the, the the plant for. He just pays for the for the additional for the additional amount to send it for a two day priority mail. So obviously that helps out with uh, the plant not getting damaged. All right, so this is plant number three. I mean the variegation's not bad. You know the leaves have a little bit of damage, but. Well, actually, just one. Not, not. This is not bad. It's just a little, a little yell yellowing on the on the corner of the leaf. I don't know if you guys can see that, but if you guys can see, look at the variegation. Okay, oh, there are all three leaf cuttings. And on this one, I know that I'm gonna be really happy with the with the root system. Look at that; it's already coming out of the pot. Maybe you're really careful to show you guys the root system. This is crazy. If you guys look at that, it actually came out from one hole and then went inside the other. <laughs> That's crazy. Now, I don't know what side I decide I'm supposed to pull. Uh, well, I think I riffed it, but well, we'll see. Okay, not bad. I mean, it has a nice root system. And as you guys can see, this one has a larger stem right there. So this one's definitely gonna get its new leaf within a couple, um, I'm pretty sure within maybe two weeks. 
we'll have a first leaf. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm happy with this one. I mean, it's not, it's not the greatest, but it has variegation. This leaf is actually really nice. I honestly think this one looks kind of like the one that I have because mine has uh, like big white spots like this and then like little variegation all over the place, just kind of like making it like kind of marble-ish. Let's get it open. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, it's the greenhouse is called Optiflora, and it's uh, located in Nashville, Tennessee. So, but I'll still give you guys the actual username so you guys can look them up and see what they have, what they have going on. All right, let's take this one out. As you guys can see, this one's a two leaf cutting, but something interesting about this plant, it looks like they cut, I don't know if this looks like a, they cut a leaf off? No. So basically what they do is either three leaves or three nuts, right? So one, two, three. Um, and as you guys can see, this one as well, already has a shoot coming out through the side um the variegation on this one um it's okay i'm happy with this one just can see that both of the leaves so i'm actually pretty happy um with the with the ones that i bought you know i honestly think that um um the three ones that i'm gonna keep as mother plants it'll be this one right so this is number four. Um, this was what's number one. Definitely keeping this one as a mother plant. And number two, right? Cause um, I mean, you can just see the variegation on it. Like it's just, it's crazy. Now, number three, I don't know much how I feel about this one, but um, I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna let the next leaf come out and depending on what the variegation looks on this one, um, I'll decide if I want to sell it or if I just want to keep it as a mother plant as well. Um, let me actually show you guys real quick. I bought a cutting, um, a mature cutting of, and I was super nervous because um, it looked like the cutting wasn't making it. Like it started uh, rotting and I just had so much problems with that cutting. And now it has so much root system on it, but I'm still waiting for the uh, for a new leaf to come out. So give me a quick second. Let me actually uh, step to the side and get the plant and show you guys what I'm talking about. It's just beautiful. The plant is super big and it has a lot of holes and I just love it. So give me a quick second and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about, okay? And we are back. So this is the monstera that I bought. Um, it was a two leaf cutting. One, one of the leaves was in really rough condition. So I just decided to um, cut it off. Um, but the main reason why I bought this cutting, it was because it had, um, it was like the, like the top cutting, you know, so, um, it has the, uh, shoot already. So definitely the, the plant doesn't, you have a better possibility of getting a similar leaf just like this. Um, I was super freaked out because, um, like the, the stem of the old leaf was still here. And when I repotted it, um, the old stem started to rot. So I thought that it was this whole thing that was very rotten and I was like getting a super heart attack because I definitely baked me this, this, this Monstera so much because I mean, come on now, look at the size of the leaf, look at the variegation, even though it's in a little bit of rough conditions, I've been trying to save it as much as I can. And I'm really picky when it comes to damaged leaves. So uh, I'm definitely waiting for um, the new leaf to come out, but this, Monster is definitely doing really, really good. I know I have it in a little tiny pot, but this is just for a couple months until I actually um, develop a good root system and then I'm going to repart it to, um, to a larger one. Don't forget to subscribe. Any questions you have, comment. And, you know, I try to try to get to you guys as soon as I can. Um, you, I'll leave you guys my social media so you guys can follow me. And until next time.